Good evening and welcome back once again. Now if you didn't watch the last video I'd certainly recommend going to watch it. Of any match of this season. Yeah it was the final of the Copa del Rey and if you look at the bottom left you can see we lost out on penalty kicks. It was an extraordinary game. We led twice and twice we let in an equaliser via a free kick from Lewandowski in the last minute. So once was in the 90th minute in normal time. We then went and scored an extra time to be leading and again, they got a free kick on the 118th, 119th minute, something like that. And Lewandowski scored again. Went the penalties and uh, we fluffed it, basically. Absolutely gutted. It's been a couple of days since I recorded that episode. I'm still gutted about it. But do you know what? It was a really good run in the cup. We've won the league. We're going to get promoted to Division 1. So looking back on it, we've done way more than we expected. And to get beaten by Barcelona, who is, depending on which side of the fence you sit, you would either consider to be the best Spanish league, Spanish team in the league or the second best, and that can alternate throughout the years. Anyway, we've got five league matches left. Let's jump in. And as you can see, we've made substantial changes. That 120 minutes plus has obviously had a big impact on our players. A lot of tired legs out there, so we've made some significant changes. Post is going in goal. Kovacevic is going in defence along with Caulfield. Rice is dropping in in place of Herrera. Got Harrington and Castledean coming on the wings. Carlos Perez is going to start up top as well. So away to Sporting de Gijon today. Let's hope we can bounce back. Obviously this is going to be a, 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 certainly a different experience than that final against the toughest team in, in Spain. Um, yeah, let's hope we can just bounce back from that though. We've got five league matches including this one. And then there's a friendly at the end of the season as per usual where you can play the retired players if you wish to i think they're called the old boys and um, so any players that are retiring this season will be in that or at least the, the best selection of those but he's having an in because he's getting fouled all over the place don't know how he didn't get a free kick at some point there yeah whether i'll play that friendly match i'm not sure it doesn't really matter um I'll probably not, but we'll see. And obviously with, with us making a lot of changes today, I wouldn't expect us to be on our absolute best form. Bit of a hangover from the last match as well. But, um, you know, we want to go out and put a performance, get three points. They're playing it dangerous though with those tackles because it could easily give something away. Here's Perez though. Oh, good save. Of course, Perez got taken out, but it was after he'd taken the shot. Not that that should matter too much. Lots of space on the right here. Brought the defender way too quick there. Good tackle from Caulfield. Don't think he's going to be one that. Has a massive future at this club. But he's in there at the moment. Really is a, is a bit of a filler. I know as a youngster you can improve. But there's going to be better youngsters coming through next season. McDowell will be a future star though. Oof. Brought him up mid-season. I think it was in potentially, yeah, I think it was January. Um, and he's done really well since. And that's not a foul. Come on. Good tackle. Had a chance to go on the counter attack. I'm looking forward to getting into the second season, though. That's where the real tough work is going to start against the, the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid every week. Okay, you're going to play some weaker teams as well, but the strength of the opposition is going to be a lot higher. The expectations after this season will be pretty high as well. Of course, just getting promoted, you wouldn't expect us to win the league or anything, but that's what we'll probably be going for, whether that's realistic. Um, I don't know yet. It depends what budget we've got, what signings we can make. We need a lot bigger squad and quality in there. And we've got a free kick. Now, if I was uh, Barcelona and had Lewandowski, I'd probably score this. 
well not me personally because the AI oh that's a lot further out than what I thought that's not right is it now Castledean Lockdown. Ah, I try to play it across the ground but easily uh, blocked by the defence good tackle there now Carlos Perez Hamilton, Perez taking some risks there and the potentially are oh, I was going to say they paid for it but I've uh, misplaced the pass Oops. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're playing a risky. Playing it at the back, and they're going to get caught out one of these times. And Nelly did a couple of times there. Nelly made an error, hit off the, one of their own players' heels. It's a foul from Rice. And that was a foul. I mean, it wasn't a yellow card, though. Hey. Referees are terrible in these games. And it's gone their way. There's a 50 50 challenge, but never mind. I don't think that the. Tr like. Going back to the last match, supposedly if you hold triangle before or during a free kick, the keeper is supposed to edge towards the, the side that the wall is on to cover that side, which I've done because that's always where the, the AI go. And I've done that there and the keeper hasn't moved at all. So I don't know if that doesn't work. Because it certainly didn't in the last match, the keeper did not move at all. Anyway, I'm just having flashbacks. Here's Harrington. Need to concentrate on this game. Nice ball to Harrington. Oh, good save, but... Didn't really have the room to cut in on my right foot. That would have been the best option if I could have. Nice ball to Caulfield there. If you can keep it in, can just. I don't know why Harrington's uh, just standing offside. Oh, here's Vieira. Arcas. Vieira. Oh, Perez nearly scored. That should have been in. Oh, how did he not score there? Wonderful cross. And once again, we're dominating possession, but apart from that chance at the end, a couple of hard chances. Not our best today. Really need to step it up. Just a little bit. I don't know what the word is, but just not firing really. Oh, nice little dink through to Harrington. And he's just too slow with it there. Pretty much what we've been all day, just a little bit. A little bit slow at times. And that was just a little bit unlucky with the bounce. Oh, Cosmo nearly intercepted it there. Good tackle from Vieira. And somehow we'll still lose it. Good tackle there from Kvazovic. And again, we'll lose it. Costly this time. I can't get it back. Yeah, it's one of those ways where you think the script is starting to come in there <laughs> when everything goes wrong. But here's Carlos Perez on the breakaway. Carlos Perez plays the ball in. Oh, my word. How did Howard miss that? Carlos Perez did so well. Just started to get his arm pulled there. 
Oh shit, nice ball. Gotta be scoring there. I'm not gonna make any subs yet. To be honest, we haven't really got too many people we can bring on with the tight legs. We'll probably bring on Bjer. It's probably gonna be it, I think. Yeah, it hasn't really been in the game an awful lot. Neither there's anyone else, I suppose, really. Not massively. Good tackle from Caulfield there. Harrington on the overlap. Now Arcas. Vieira gets easily tackled there. Nice tackle from Vieira, though. Oh, it's a poor pass. It's a terrible tackle. That's not a yellow. <laughs> Make some subs. We're going to take off Castledean and put on Bjer. And Carlson's going to go over on the left in place of Harrington. Harrington's look pretty lively and dangerous, but again, that cutting edge just hasn't been there. I'd argue to say he's potentially been our best player. Arcas. Oh, lovely effort. Nicely worked free kick. Try to place the finish. Probably the right thing to do. Didn't have much room to work with. Now, we have been trying to do something a little bit different with our corners. Just in terms of what we normally do. That's a lot better. I think it is working. Can't get it right every time, but that's pretty much how I wanted to play it. So, I think I've got something there. Because I've been terrible with corners. For, for the most part, just never seem to even look dangerous at all. Nice clearance there. I think he got uh, caught as well, but here's Carlson. Oh, and that is a terrible ball. Bajer was just sitting there waiting acres of space, and Carlson on his favourite foot as well. I mean, he's going in the in the summer, so. It's just not the quality that we need, and certainly not in the uh, in the first division. What was that? Got lucky there. I thought we gave away the ball. Nice long ball to to Carlson. Now Vieira, what can he do? Nearly gives the ball away. But nice pass in the end. Nicely worked. Vieira in off the post. What a quality move that was. And it was going to take something pretty spectacular to make a breakthrough in this game. Vieira started it. Nearly gave the ball away. A little 1-2. Well, no, sorry. It wasn't a 1-2 of Argas. Bjer back into Perez. Back into Vieira. What a lovely team goal that was. Five or six players involved. A lot of one touch and a beautiful finish off the inside of the post for a fairly bang average game that was a, a beautiful goal and that's the quality we do have when we're, when we're you know Getting a bit of spark in midfield and attack. That's what we can do. And it's just been pretty much non-existent until that point. Little flashes here and there. Oh, Carlos Perez just run into trouble. He should have done better there. Lovely pass from Vieira. He suddenly made a difference in the last 10 minutes or so. Not just getting that goal, but starting to run... Run the midfield, maybe when there's some tired legs from the opposition. Olivier was pretty tired himself. 
And again, that's not a foul. Is that for us? I don't know. I wouldn't even say that's a foul for us. I'll happily take it, but it looked like a 50-50 challenge to me. What is that? That's not who I was playing it to at all. And well wide. That would have been shocking because that is not where I was playing the ball at all. I'm not going to watch that. I'm not going to take any risks. I'm just going to move the ball upfield. Although posted well to close the angle. Did about all he could to put off the, the attacker there. Nice tackle there. Carlson's got plenty of space here. Carlson didn't manage to finish it, and that's foul. I think Carlson Perez is a little bit too eager to try and get that rebound. Just got to hold out for a couple more minutes. Don't want to make any mistakes. Hasn't been spectacular by any means, but we just wanted to get the three points. Put that final behind us. That's a poor ball. But that will be full time. Or it should be. And there it is. Got there in the end. And our possession actually went down in the second half. Only 52% overall for the game, which is fairly low for our standards. And Vieira getting man of the match. Not a surprise considering he got the goal. But also that last 20 minutes or so he really turned up a notch. And he was running the midfield a bit. Other than that I wouldn't say too many spectacular performances at all. Perez getting a 7. Not sure about that. But 3 points. I'll take it. And the next match is at home to Lugo. We've actually got 3 home games out of the next 4. Which is a really good way to finish. So hopefully you can join me for that one. Thank you very much for joining. Leave a like. Drop a comment down below and think about subscribing to the channel to keep up to date. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.